This class is a first year seminar on performance and theory in James Bond. Uh, and basically what we're doing is reading a whole series of critical theorists who are presenting different lenses of how to look at culture and literature and world, the world in performance. And then we're applying those theories to, uh, to different James Bond artifacts. So novels, films. Today we're looking at uh, the James Bond video game. Way too far away. Yeah, it's a shotgun. Way too far away. Come on, Boris. Go slap it in your heart. We are looking critically at the uh, different incarnations of James Bond as a video game character and what it means to play Bond. I thought it was a lot of fun um, because I usually just play them on my own, so it's cool to actually get to do it with some people. This game, like especially, is just a lot of fun with the different characters and stuff like that. I think I was playing as um, Odd Job, not Odd Job, uh, Jaws, the henchman. Um, honestly, like, I just it just sounded interesting. Like, uh, I was kind of curious to see like how they would make James Bond like an academic, uh, an academically rigorous topic. Play through this round, so we'll play five minutes. Be thinking about ideology. We use it as like a lens to look at like a lot of really really dense and like uh, complicated like literary theory, uh, like from all different perspectives like there's like we've done like feminism Marxism uh, my paper was about gender uh, constructs in society and it was looking at uh, comparing like uh, Bond and Barbie they both like came like came about at the same time so they have like the same like time history I guess like timeline and they're both like hyper sexualized my paper is about how the the different stakes in the films, like what's at stake, um, kind of defines the era it was made in. So my paper explored the fashion of James Bond. Uh, he's always been a fashionable character, and he's never been really trendy. So it was interesting to see how uh, how he stayed relevant and stayed classy through the 60s all the way till now. Because Bond goes so far back, so the first novels start in the mid-1950s, the first film is 1962, and it's been enduring since then. So basically, Bond becomes a kind of cultural sponge for whatever era he's in. The other kind of wonderful thing is that Bond wears the its politics uh, in terms of gender, geopolitics, and ideas very baldly. So it becomes a really accessible text to then apply fairly sophisticated and dense critical theories to.